mean, when we started off, we always had a machine shop here in the, the Birmingham office. It was part of the original Dal Dalcom acquisition. Um, and what we found very quickly was it resonated so well with the Autodesk message about the, the convergence of design and make that it was absolutely the right thing to invest in it. So over the last 18 months, we've had an enormous investment here, both in refurbishing, smartening up the facilities, of course, adding an enormous amount of new kit. The whole thing just becomes a much more an integral part of the, the activity and the experience of being here. You know, automation is actually a huge opportunity for the built world. A lot of people are afraid of it because they think it's going to take away everybody's jobs. But, you know, fundamentally in the world of building things, we have a serious capacity problem. There's not enough people and there's not enough money to build everything that needs to be built. What automation is going to offer or the opportunity for us to do is actually free up that capacity. Get the people working on more projects, doing more things, doing them better, and frankly using less natural resources to do that. Automation is a big opportunity for the built world and we really shouldn't be afraid of it. What we really should be worried about is making sure people have the right skills to exploit it. But I find this astonishing. This has actually been additive manufactured. Is it a game changer? It's absolutely a game changer. Yep, so this has been produced using additive manufacturing. So we've used uh, direct energy deposition to lay down a very large amount of material really, really rapidly. So using technology which is very close to a, a traditional welding robot, driving that welding robot to lay down material in really the reverse process of what we would normally do on a machine tool to add material. But by using a welding robot, we're able to achieve much higher material deposition rates than what you would traditionally see by most additive manufacturing processes. So this is available within our products today, the capability to drive direct energy deposition systems, whether they're robot based, whether they're machine tool based, to enable people to control their machines to produce these types of components. I see if we're here at the launch of the AMF in Birmingham. How important is this facility to Autodesk and manufacturing as a whole? So uh, to manufacturing as a whole in the UK, it's, it's, it's massively important because um, to help the UK design and manufacturing sector adopt some of the technologies that are really going to be critical to their success, you have to show, you have to prove what they currently think is impossible is actually possible. So from a, a countrywide perspective, it's pretty critical. And for us as Autodesk, as a, as a provider of the sort of technologies that will enable customers to do this stuff, it's critical. So you know, it represents a massive investment we're making uh, as Autodesk in, in, in our own capabilities and also the country. Well, we intend to, this place to be a center where people can come in and explore the art of the impossible and leave inspired. So it's critical for us. Yamazaki Mazak are proud to be a partner of Autodesk for the new AMF facility here in Birmingham. For our customers today, they're looking for us to take part count down, they're looking for us to take cost out, and they're looking for us to bring benefits to them and their airline customers, largely through aero engines and structures. It really is about taking the amount of material that we actually have to deal with and losing a lot of that before we even get to the manufacturing process. Additive manufacturing is the key to that. And with Autodesk, with our generative design partnership, we've been able to demonstrate already significant savings on material usage, weight, and advantages that we couldn't have otherwise built into the material properties that we've got within additive components. In our business, we are really looking at how to bring our design process to the next level and to have such a wonderful facility where the software integrates with different manufacturing methods is just mind-blowing. The facility is just an enormous expression of commitment 
that you take it very serious that design and manufacturing is merging. And it's a wonderful playground for designers to explore new things.